Hello and welcome to Stretton McClappan Prep School. We are the Early Years team. I'm Head of Early Years, Ruth Lockyer. And I'm Diana Agnew, the nursery class teacher. We're going to be doing a storytelling workshop today all about the very hungry caterpillar. The story focus, we'll be looking at counting. So as you know, the very hungry caterpillar is very greedy, eats lots of fruits, um, and we're linking that to counting and also the girls' number of recognition. We will then be going on to linking the story through many ways. Um, firstly, through yoga. Um, we'll be telling the life cycle of a butterfly through different yoga poses that you can try at home. And we'll be doing a range of activities. We'll be doing a um, fruit skewer. We'll be talking about the different colours that the children can see, the naming the different fruits, and obviously talking about their favourite fruits. Today we're going to read together The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Who knows what happens in this story? What's going to happen, Zadie? He's going to eat loads of food. He's going to eat lots of food. Really big. Then he's going to make a cocoon. Wow, that will be towards the end. Up. And then when he comes out, he'll be a butterfly. Yay! Ooh. Let's read it together, and shall we? You can help me. Too much food. He eats too much food. And we've got some clues here on the table for you. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. What's Eric Carl? That's the man who wrote the story book. <laughs> In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. And we've got the caterpillar and the leaf. Where's the egg? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and... Pop! Everybody together! Pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very... Hungry caterpillar. There he is. Very hungry. <laughs> he started to look for some food. So on Monday, that's day one, he ate through one apple. So I wonder which one of you would be able to be a little volunteer and find an apple in the basket. Can I choose, Sage, can you find one apple in the basket? Very good. We'll give it to the caterpillar. Ooh. Say, so, uh, can someone tell me where number one is? Can they see number one on the table? Jazzy, where's number one? Look very carefully at those numbers. Number one might look different. Well done. Thank you very much, Jessie. Number one. one. So the caterpillar ate one apple. But guess what? He was still hungry. What's the day after Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. He ate through two. Pears. Can anyone show me where two pears are? Yeah. Oh, thank together. you very much, Florence. Very, very hungry caterpillar has eaten two pears. Thank you. Can somebody find number two? Edie, can you find number two? Very close thank to you. Thank you very much. Number two. Two pears. So he ate through two pears, but he was still, still hungry. hungry. So Tuesday on to Wednesday. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Oh, where are the three plums? plums? Where are the plums? Sadie, can you find me three plums, please? Do you count them? One, two, Can you show me three fingers, everybody? Three fingers. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Well done, guys. And where is number three? Do we know where number three might be? Newhart. Where's number three? Oh, so fast. Very much, Newhart. Where's number three? 
Well done. Birthday day. <laughs> so on Wednesday he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday he ate through one, two, three, four strawberries. Can we find four strawberries, Jenna? Do you think you could find four strawberries for me, Jenna? Shall we help Jenna count them out? One, let's, one, so let's count two, them out. One, two, two three, three, four. Thank you. Four strawberries. Anyone know where number four is? Um, um, I know. Florence. Well, well done, everybody. Number I did it. four. Well, you both did it. Well done, girls. But he was still. <laughs> so that was Thursday, so now it's Friday. Friday. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Oh, who has not had a turn this thing? Tilly, would you like to find five oranges for me? Come on. There you are. So you can count them and pass them to me. The basket, you count them out. Pass them to Mrs. Abby. One, two, two three, four, four, five. Thank you. Oh, we don't need that one. much. Do we don't one. need that one. Who can find number five? Where's number five? Thank you very much, girls. Number five. Well done, everybody. But, but he was still hungry. So on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. So I like How many things did you count? How many? Did you count them? Oh, Ooh. how many nine. did you count? You twelve. counted nine. Twelve. You counted twelve, did you? I don't. You counted four. Oh, should we, should count, we count them together? Ready? Help me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Can you show me ten? Ten wiggly fingers. Ten caterpillars. Well and guess what he's got now? Do you know what he has? He has a stomach ache. Did you? The next day it was Sunday again. We've had one whole week. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Who remembers what happens next? He ate a nice green And then... Then he ate So, let's have a look. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And... He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He, he was, was a, a big, big fat caterpillar. caterpillar. And he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. And he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and are you ready? Turned into a Here was a beautiful butterfly. butterfly. Spread your wings. Let's be a butterfly. Well done. I'm a butterfly. Are you a butterfly? I'm, I'm a, a butterfly. You are in the butterfly group, do you think? Thank you. Me too. You saw a cocoon before. Where did you see it? In, in the woods. Has anybody else seen a cocoon? Namaste. And can you do a little bow like me? Watch me. Namaste. Can you do that? Ready, Edie? Bit of yoga? Okay. 
So we're going to do some hungry caterpillar yoga today and you can see the pictures that we're going to follow on the board. What happens at the beginning of the story? Is the hungry caterpillar there yet? Or it, what it, where is he? He's an egg. Can you see the egg picture there? So watch me. We need to tuck our toes under our bottom. And we put our head onto the ground. And we put our arms lying down by our legs. And we stay. And we breathe in and out. In and out. And sit up. Good eggs. And then he's going to hatch. So watching me, we have to go up and hatch out of the egg. And reach up as high as you can, look up at the ceiling. And down. And one more time to hatch. Three, two, one, hatch. And down, lovely. Can you see what the next picture will be? Because the caterpillars come out of his egg so we need to do this one first for the caterpillar crawl. So it's like when we do our yoga in nursery, it's like the doggy, the downward dog. So we tuck our feet like this. We put our hands down flat. Keep your legs straight and look down to the floor. Look at your toes. Can you wiggle? My toes are so long and my arms. Wig I can't see my wiggle your toes. Look at your toes. Wiggle them like little caterpillars. Uh, <laughs> and down on your knees and sitting up. Lovely. And now the next part of the crawl, we have to go on our tummy like the snake. So we have to go down on our tummy. And are you ready to push up? Three, two, one, up. And you can do a s if you want for a snake. Lovely. Shall we go from here to the upwards? So tuck your toes in, push up, downward doggy, caterpillar crawling, and back down to your tummy, and, and now he's going to go into his cocoon. Can you see the cocoon picture? We have to go on our feet for this one. So on your feet. Bend down and we're going to tuck our head in and hide in our cocoon. Can you do that? Well done. And what do you think happens at the end? The butterfly part. Butterfly. We're going to do our butterfly wings with our legs. So put your feet together. Yeah, put your feet together. You have to go in, out, in, out. Hold your feet. In, out. Lovely. Like Butterflies flying. Well done. You could do it with your legs crossed as well, yeah? And legs too. Okay. Now we have finished our yoga for today. We have to finish as we started by putting... Ready? Hands at your heart. We say thank you to our body. Thank you to the hungry caterpillar. Close our eyes and we say Namaste. Well done. We love doing yoga. We've done yoga. So for the fruit skewers, you will need a wooden skewer. Um, you will need some fruits. We have used pineapple, green grapes and blueberries for the body and strawberries for the head. However, you can choose what you would like for your bodies and your caterpillar heads to create your very hungry caterpillar fruit skewers. So we encourage the girls to carefully push on their fruit onto the skewers. Um, they can do some counting, they can do some colour recognition and talking about what part is the body, what part is the head, how many pieces of fruit they need and just being careful with you pushing it on along with their fingers. So we're going to pass them out, hold it like this, and we're going to pull it down, move it down. Does anyone know what this yellow fruit is? A pineapple. So shall we put through some pineapple? Pineapple to make our caterpillars. Isla, 
Can you find any purple fruits? A, what fruit is that, Julie? Um, a plum and some blueberries. I'm gonna do one. One. I'm gonna do five. Lovely. Right, have we all done the body of our caterpillar? <gasps> Lovely. So what do we need to put on him? What do we need to give him? A head. And what colour is his head in the book? Red. Red. And he needs a Wow, look at your caterpillars. If you hold them to the side, it looks like a caterpillar. What's your favourite fruit? Strawberries. Oh, oh strawberries and grapes. And what colour is the strawberries? Red. Red. And what colour are these grapes? Green. Green. And what colour are the blueberries? Blue. Should we have some? Okay. Should we eat some of it? I'm going. What are you going to eat? The strawberry. The strawberry, the head of the caterpillar. I'm going to eat the, sh the head of the caterpillar. Oh, very nice. Is that a nice fruit? For the fingerprinting activity, you will need um, some paper, some green paint, some red paint, and a range of other either paints or colouring and pencils. The process that you'll be going through with your children is to firstly discuss um, the colours that are being used. You can talk about the shape of the um, the shapes that they can see, which is a circle. And um, and while they do the activity, you can also count the number of fingerprints that the children do use to create the caterpillar. And of course, with your fingers, you will be creating the very hungry caterpillar. So green paint for the body and a lovely nice red face. So point up to our and your fingers, well done. Well done, really nice. All the way through, well done. Right, and we're going to put it so it's at the end here, at the bottom. Well done. Well done. So we're going to hold it and hold We'll be hosting future events either virtually or on site. Please look at the events section of our website if you'd like to find out some more information. Thank you.